All right, folks, Nat 971A here, continuing the experiment on Tesla's wireless transmission circuit. I'm going to give you a real quick overview of my system. I've been quite quick on my videos previously, so let's have a look. Okay, you can see one of my spheres there. And there's my other sphere there. Okay, just in, in my previous videos, this is the transmitter leading up to the sphere that's on the roof, the highest one. Okay, this is my receiver here. We've got uh, three lights plugged into the wireless receiver, uh, which light up. And then I've got my what if, uh, well, bit more crazy invention of uh, sort of a Harold Aspen, Edwin Gray type uh, conversion tube that powers these lights up wirelessly, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, what you're looking at here is. Uh, three lights being uh, lit by the wireless receiver. The middle one is a little bit dodgy. It was a broken uh, CFL for some time ago. This one over here isn't connected to anything. It's only connected to the ground. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, these ones here are quite strange. They just light up, not plug into anything. So, you know, it's the conversion tube is... Um, pumping out a lot of energy there. Uh, I was previously only able to do that with about 60 volts, so I'm currently running at about 36 volts. And I've actually swapped my batteries around. Um, there's two 36 volt packs, there's this, this one here and there's one outside. I've just swapped them around. I just wanted to see if uh, the ones that are connected to the conversion should be charging up because these ones here that were outside, they just, just weren't losing any power. They were just, uh, I think they were about 38 volts last time I checked. So I'm interested to see if running this for a while will charge up the batteries or not, or find out what's going on there. But um, definitely transmitting heaps of power. Oh, I was going to show you the amp drawer. There's some talk about the, uh, the amp drawer there. You know, let's see if I can get in there real close. Now, it's a bit hard to read it, but it looks like it's about 200 or something uh, milliamps there. Alright, so I'm going to show you this one here uh, is connected to the ground. I'm going to turn the system off. Uh, a bit safe, I don't want to get shocked. Okay, so we've got the yellow and green and the black. And uh, they're just sitting on the floor here. There's one end. Where's the other end of it? Over here somewhere, I think. No? No, there's black. Oh, there's a the black there. 